Hey there, baseball fans, it's Ben, and I am back with not baseball, but football and basketball cards from the Junk Wax Air, ripping wax packs, which is what we do here. Uh, so these are just packs I had uh, laying around, and I thought, why not open them? And they don't have a whole lot, they don't make a, lot, a whole lot of sense together as a theme, but we're doing it anyway. So we're going to start off with 1990 Pro Set, go on to 1991 Pro Set, then off into 1990 Fleer into college basketball. I think these are 91 or 92, 91 Fleer basketball, and then the first year of Skybox, which I think is 91 as well. So those Skybox ones, you know, we can put some pretty good cards out of there. Starting off with some Pro Set, which to me is the, the junkiest of the junk wax for uh, football. Starting off with Doug Smith, Lewis Sharp, Tim Irwin, Bill Romanowski, I'm not sure why he has the ball there, but good for him. Tom Tupa, Brian Noble, Thomas Benson, Steve Pelluer. I don't even know who that is. Greg Montgomery, look at that leg kick. Izell Jenkins, Derek Hill, Willis Pagoisi. Um, I don't know who that is. Frederick Larson. And then the American Bowl in Tokyo. And Joe Namath, MVP Super Bowl throwback. So... That name is the best card out of here, which is not saying much. On to 1991, which was, I think, even more mass-produced than 1990. I certainly had a lot of these in my collection growing up. 1991 Pro Set. I do like the design on these better, though. Just a slight tweak, but made them look nicer. So, Paul Farron, John Alt, Lewis Billups, Derek Thomas. So, there's a good one. Linebacker for the Chiefs. There's Mark Collins. Not a great... Shot at him, but whatever. Uh, Thane Gash. Never heard of him. Gary Zimmerman. Daryl Fullington. Brian Noble. Tommy Agee. Warren Moon. All right. Hall of Fame quarterback Warren Moon. There's one of the officials. Gene Barth. Uh, then you get the Rams halt the 49ers streak. Another official, Jim Tooney. Great. Ty Detmer, the Heisman hero, 1990. So I have to tell you here. Night, when Ty Detmer was a senior in 1990, uh, they played in the Holiday Bowl. BYU played the Holiday Bowl against my favorite, the Iowa Hawkeyes. And I will never forget being a youngster watching that game and watching Iowa just barely lose to BYU and Ty Detmer. And there's Sean Knight from the World Football League to wrap us up here. So not too exciting there. Going to 1990 Fleer, which is the first year they did Fleer did football in a long time. They have a long history of doing football cards, but uh, they came back mass produced in 1990. There's Dave Craig, Mike Kofer, Dennis Gentry, Pat Swilling, so there's a good one. Tony Mandarich, Evan Cooper, Byron Evans, Anthony Carter, another good one there. Reggie Roby, he's a great punter, but nobody really cares too much about punters. He's from Iowa as well. Uh, let's see here. Yep, College, Iowa. Greg Townsend, Ray Allegre, Tim Johnson, Mike Wolcher, Leonard Smith, and Reggie Langhorn. So nothing too exciting to write home about there with the football cards. Let's jump to basketball. So with basketball, I'm looking for, in my PC, it would be B.J. Armstrong for the Chicago Bulls and any other former Iowa Hawkeye basketball players. And that's what's great about these wild cards here is that they are focused on the NCAA kids coming out of uh, college. So David Butler for UNLV. There's Isaiah Thomas. I guess that's uh, kind of a throwback to his, even though he's a well-established veteran at that point. Kevin Brooks from uh, the Raging Cajuns. Southwest Louisiana. Uh, Terry Tyler. I don't know what college that is. Detroit College, okay. Derek Pope, who's a Bobcat. Which college is that? Montana Bobcats. We have St. John's with Chris Mullen. Oh, look at that. Oh, but that's a throwback there for him, too. He was established at that point, too. Terry Dozier. Ian Lockhart. Then we got another Ian Lockhart. Great. Two Ian Lockharts back-to-back -back in the same pack. James Bullock. These jerseys just seem like they're not even official. I don't remember Purdue ever wearing those jerseys. There's Eric Murdoch. All right, we got 
Russ Schoen, Tom Copa from Marquette, Linton Towns, and Ronald Coleman. What a weird, fairly worthless pack with a couple throwbacks with Christian Mullen and Isaiah Thomas in there. Uh, moving on to 1991, full year basketball. Looking for those ProVision cards. That Jordan ProVision would be a nice one to pull out of here. So let's see what we can get. I had a ton of these when I was a kid. There's Purvis Ellison, Terry Catledge, Nigel Knight, Marcus Liberty, Tyrone Corbin, Terry Cummings, Jerome Richardson, Rex Chapman, one of the best players on that Charlotte team, Byron Scott. I enjoyed watching him. I was a Lakers fan growing up because I grew up in Iowa and could choose anything, and I chose Maddox Johnson to follow. There's Clyde the Glide Drexler, so that's a good one. Rory Sparrow. There's D. Brown. Never forget that uh, great D. Brown dunk, that no-look dunk. Sherman Douglas. And KJ, it's Kevin Johnson, so that's not a bad pack. Moving on to Series 2 of Skybox. I'm not sure what was in Series 2 or Series 1. Hopefully we can get a Jordan or a B.J. Armstrong or something cool like that in any of these two packs I got here. This was quite the futuristic design when it came out. Mark Jackson, Trent Tucker, Willie Burton, Frank Cornette, the Orlando Magic. There's the team card. Actually, those team cards are pretty cool that year, to be honest with you. There's John Paxson. Kevin McHale, look at that. Matt Gukas. There's another KJ for us. Jeff Hornacek, not an Iowa player, but an Iowa State player. Don Nelson, coach of the Warriors. John Sally, the Detroit Pistons. There's another Isaiah Thomas. T.R. Dunn and Sam Mitchell. All right. Last pack. See if we can get some last pack magic here. Pull out something really exciting. Come on. We can do it. Sidney Moncrief. Rick Mahorn. Brad Davis. Bill Wennington. James Worthy. Hey, James Worthy for the Lakers. That was a good one. Doug West. George McLeod. Brian Quint, Cotton Fitzsimmons, Tom Garrick, Derek Gerben, Paul Presley, Pressy, I should say, Johnny Dawkins, Jerome Lane, and Ramil Robinson, who was a big draft pick that year. But nothing too exciting. All in all, just a handful of uh, you know decent stars, but no big, big stars. I guess Clyde Drexler is probably one of the better ones. Hope you guys enjoyed this one nonetheless, and I'll see you next time.